Hi everyone, my name is Yu Jie, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Washington earning my Master of Science in Technology Innovation. Today I want to show you what it's like to study here at the Global Innovation Exchange. I am here in the Steve Ballmer Building in Bellevue, Washington, just across Lake Washington from Seattle. The building was designed specifically for our programs and was opened in 2017. The Global Innovation Exchange, or GIX as we call it, is a collaboration between university and industry partners who are committed to experiential learning and technology innovation in a global context. Students in the graduate program can earn a Master of Science degree from the University of Washington, and they have the option of applying to the Tsinghua University in Beijing and earning a second degree, the Master of Science in Engineering in Data Science and Information Technology. I am in front of our network wall, which is an interactive display that shows our student life and recent projects, how students collaborate with our industry partners, and information about the startups that also operate out of the Steve Bomber building. We have a range of different teaching and learning spaces, from traditional lecture classrooms and collaborative learning spaces for teams to studio and project spaces. The first floor also includes our VR lab, which is outfitted with top-of-the-line graphics processing and the room-scale VR system. I am in the first floor commons where students, faculty, and staff have lunch and socialize. The GIX speaker series, company recruitment events, and community happy hours also take place here. This also has our kitchen where I usually get my free coffee in the morning. GIX was founded in partnership with Tsinghua University, a leading university based in Beijing. The Tsinghua Suite commemorates the first time a Chinese university has had a physical footprint in the U.S. The space serves as a museum, a meeting room, and a backdrop for photography opportunities with important visitors. Now let's take a trip upstairs to the second floor where we have our well-equipped prototyping labs as well as our studio classrooms. I'm going to let Dominic, one of my classmates in the MSTI program, tell you more. Thanks, Yuji. My name is Dominic. I'm also earning my MSTI degree from UW here at Global Innovation Exchange. I'm on the second floor of the Steve Ballmer building where students spend a majority of our time. In addition to the, the maker space, the second floor has studios and specialty labs where you can learn how to use a robotic arm or make a printed circuit board from scratch. In most of our classes, we work on interdisciplinary teams to develop our ideas, which is representative of the GIX model, design, build, and launch. After we get critique from faculty, we come over here to prototype and iterate on our solutions. We have all the space and time we need to collaborate and test our ideas, going from simple concepts all the way to functional prototypes. As you can see, the maker space is huge. It has a wide variety of tools and excellent equipment. There's more you don't see, though. We've got a student makerspace crew led by professionals who help us best use all the technology and tools, even when we're working remotely. Behind this giant door is an industrial-grade laser cutter that can cut through steel. And over here we have the laser cutters, great for prototyping cardboard, wood, acrylic, etching glass, and so much more. Over there we have the sewing machines. And over here we have the 3D printers, which are my favorite. We've got nearly 30 printers of various types. You routinely see printing out pieces for students or GX consortium members even, companies like T-Mobile or Vulcan. We even use them to make personal protective equipment for UW Medicine during a recent supply shortage. And over here, you can see the wood shop. The wood shop is separate from the rest of the makerspace for noise and dust. And it contains everything necessary to do woodwork from a planer, joiner, router table, and saw, and so much more. We have a fully functional circuit board lab for students who are looking to create their own custom boards. And over there, we have our soldering and breadboard stations. These are used in the hardware software labs where we learned how to design, fabricate custom circuit boards onto copper wafers, and add in electronic components. This was one of the coolest things I've learned. Students enter the program with a variety of different backgrounds, so it's great to have the Makerspace crew to help us with these tools. We aren't experts in every area, so when having a knowledgeable staff really expedites the process of bringing our concepts into the world. Working with them is easily the best part of the whole experience. And now I'm going to pass it off to Yuji. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Makerspace. Now let's walk up the stairs from the prototyping labs to the top floor. The third floor has the office space for the staff and faculty, as well as additional rooms for startups that lead space in the Steve Ballmer building. Students primarily use this space to work on their launch projects. The neighborhood we're in is a new development in Bellevue called the Spring District. The area is a mixed-use business and residential neighborhood. There are apartments across the street, and Facebook's three new buildings are nearly done. In 2023, the light rail extension will have a stop here, so people can connect into Bellevue, then to the main UW campus, and on to downtown Seattle. Bellevue is a great place to work on cutting-edge technology, because we're literally surrounded by the world's leading tech companies and startups. If you have any questions, feel free to connect with us. I hope you enjoy the tour, and we look forward to having you join us.